try to hide it, I'm pressed, whatever. This is what we trimmed off. Stick it in a freezer baggie. You make free pies, you're gonna have a free pie. I stick the extra that I trim off in the freezer. And about every two and a half to three pies, I have enough for a whole. Sorry, one of my children came in and was acting awful. All right, so if you've trimmed off all the extra pie, duh. Stick it in the bag. You can do two things with it. First thing is, if you make two or three crusts, and I get one about every two and a half to three crusts, put all these extras together, roll them back out, and you've got a freebie crust. The second is, if you roll that out, and you have pretty decorative cookie cutters, this is where you see all the foo-foo stuff they do in the magazine. You can cut this out, use a little bit of egg wash to glue it to the top of your pie crust, and that's how you make a pretty decorative element to the top of your pie. All right, so my Boonies Mile High Big Chicken Pie is going in the oven, and I'll show you what it looks like in about 30 minutes. 350 degrees, 30 minutes, until golden brown and yummy looking on top. All right, 30 minute buzzer for my pie crust just went off, and I realized I need to show you a couple things. Come here. First thing you wanna do, you see the baking sheet that I put in the bottom? You see the stuff that's beginning to drip down? Well, that tells me a couple things. First of all, I won't have a mess in the bottom of my oven in case the interior of my pie flows over. Secondly, the interior of my pie is starting to bubble. Now that means the inside is beginning to be done. The outside is not quite as brown and fabulous as I want it. So I, at this point, I'm gonna give it about another 10 minutes. I told you 30, I guess I meant 40. We'll be back. Okay, on your pie crust, we've now had a full 40 minutes. And I want you to see this. See that? It's perfectly done. Perfectly beautiful. And that was at 40 minutes. Now, what I'm gonna do right here and actually, what you want to do when you're going to serve something like this, if it's a fruit pie that you're going to use the dough with, you want to give it at least an hour to set up. That lets the flour or the cornstarch or whatever you use for thickening kind of come together and gel. If you've got a meat pie, you probably want to give it a 10 or 15 minutes. It's not going to be as juicy, so it won't be as long. However, I have to show you get this pretty side over here. I like that. All right. I'm cutting into my... Okay. Ooh, looky there. All right. I want to show you how flaky and tender a really well done pie crust can be. Coming right down here. <laughs> All right. So I can't cut straight. There we go. All right, there we go. That's what I want to show you. Can you get in close right there? See how beautiful that is? It's tender. It's flaky. See? Pop. 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 Those are all the layers that we worked at with getting the butter cold and not messing with it too much. And the exterior is perfectly done. Now I'm going to flip this over. We'll mess up my own pie to show you. You see that? The inside of your pie should be soft, but done. And there's a big difference. You don't have any of the strange little weird bits from an underdone pie crust. Okay? And that's all there is to it. You saw it took me, what, three minutes to put together. Wait a minute. Pat my pie back together. Because I'm going to give that to my kids in a minute. Mm. Mm. It took maybe three minutes to put together. Had to have a rest in the in the refrigerator. Took another two minutes to roll out. And that's all it took to make a really fabulous, homemade, tender, flaky pie crust. Try that one. Mm. Fruit pies or meat pies or whatever kind of pie you feel like making up. That's going to make you look like a rock star.